Yeah. Um, you get into these really cool um, models and really cool uh, yeah, e economic theories and all that about how you can actually get people to think and start to create in this way. Because uh, when you're not paid, like say, for creating music and songs and all that, it, it loses some of the incentive. I mean, stuff still gets out there. But yeah. if there could be a way that you could get paid and like say any arbitrary thing, like in any token, like any coin, any like, you know, point, yeah. that, that would be great. And so that's where you have the economy based around, you know, points or the attention points. Well, it's an idea that, that people tend to, the things that they love to do are usually the things that they're best at doing, but in the real world economy, they're kind of forced away from that. Yeah. It's a bit like, you know, if you're, re if you're really good at philosophy, then there's not too many real Really worlds. good at music. Or music or like something really obscure, like especially art things and all sorts of... Yeah. And there's not really any money to be made in the rural economy. It's, there's few, yeah, there's few avenues for Instead it. Instead, people go to, they become lawyers or accountants or yeah. bankers or boring things. And like when that. you've got abundance everywhere and you can do whatever you like, then people are going to actually yeah. start working creatively. But there's still that drive to actually create awesomely big, cool things and cool yeah. new stuff. There'll still be a system of organizing that. Mm. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing <laughs> down. But then we're getting to the, the really fun part that this I mean, is where it gets cool. Like, with those assumptions and all of that, it gets into the attention economy. Oh. Well, yeah, the idea is like, how do we build that platform? Because yeah. like, it needs a platform. Like the real world economy, its platform is, okay, you've got the scarcity, you've got supply and demand because people want those goods. What's the platform? Currency. Yeah. Essentially. And then you have financial markets which all jump on top of the currency. Yeah. But yeah, so what do we do? Like a trend we've been seeing so far is a lot of people are using point systems. Yeah. Like Reddit's using point systems, Digi's using point systems. We're in, seeing it everywhere. Even Facebook, you can consider a, a point yeah. system because you know the number of likes. You can do the likes and even coming out with the Facebook currency and stuff. Yeah. But we're starting to see these points everywhere all around the web. They're just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And what are the points used for? Why do we use them? Yeah. Well, that, they, they're used to filter the information. Yeah, to filter it and actually just make that. Yeah. It's a system. It's a mathematical system actually gone around it, but not of physical like money and all of that because... Yeah. I mean, we've got filtering mechanisms of that, obviously, on like eBay and things, but they're just another point system on there. Yeah. And so, yeah, it becomes cool. that the, I guess the idea of, with the attention economy is in, in some way, somehow, all these systems are going to be linked. Yeah, or which is roughly not sure linked. Yeah, the same way that, you know, how there was like individual currencies all popped up with all different countries and stuff. If yeah. you start seeing, say, like Facebook as a country, like, you know, people have made blog posts about that or the amount yeah. of people in it and all these other different yeah, communities like, as countries. And like likes are their own currency, gigs yeah. are their own currency. Yeah, well, upvotes are their own currency. See, I, I, I'm still not I mean, thinking that, yeah, yeah, well, that, that's pretty much it, exactly, because they all have their own different um, method, their own different way of actually organizing and getting the stuff through that, like digs and karma and likes and all of that. And, yeah. how they actually rank it all and so then somehow they're all going to start getting connected it's going to become more standardized like digs was a, a good start i think and upvoting and liking yeah is a good start and then it's going to start there's going to be some way to join them all and it's going to be cool so yeah a platform that joins them all either a standard point system where um well originally we should go through our original thinking because we're thinking um this this whole new attention economy would be based off um basically if you if you submit a piece of information, then you should get points back for the amount of attention given to that given to that information. Yeah. And vice versa, if you give attention to a piece of information, you should get some kind of. You, you should be able thing. to like produce something, chuck it up on the net, and get some points back based on how yeah. much that system likes it. Yeah. And we also thought about things like art. Like music's per a perfect example. There's the, and all these blogs that are producing information and and anyone who produces information, really they want people to give attention to it because there's such an abundance at the moment. Like, particularly the, the whole underground music scene, well, I'm going to call it underground, like open source music yeah. scene, what do you call it? Indie. Yeah. In independent music. Like, they love it when people pirate their stuff because it's more attention to yeah, it. Yeah, you're getting actually yeah. people reading and looking at your work and stuff. And, and I think probably uh, the attention economy has been very much tied to advertising and... Like, yes, that can happen, but it's not the coolest implementation. It's not the best way to yeah. do it yet, no. Because, like, what, what, the, what the advertising will do is they'll eventually, you will have a piece of content, you pay X amount, they distribute it out, and you pay based on how much attention that piece of economy, that piece yeah. of information gets. Yeah, it'd be something like, you know, like this video and all of that, that you just want to get yeah. it, say, show as seen by as like many people as possible, and so you start just pushing out there, rather than us actually... Uh, are asking you to pay to actually watch this. Yeah. We're starting to actually pay you to actually watch this because we like, like music. Like, why pay for music when we're actually 
you know, wait, giving, giving our three, five minutes of time to listen to your music. That's our attention. Our attention yeah. is valuable. Yeah. We only have 24 hours in a day. <laughs> yeah. We can't listen to everything. We're we listening can't. to your song. Pay us money or something. Give us something back for listening yeah. to your song. We're, we're propelling you. And then by us actually, yeah, by us actually listening and going through, like if we like it, we're going to start wanting less and less from you because we're like, oh no, no, let's go go back and listen to them again. So you got start getting different points based on all of these different things, and so it's kind of like nearly a reverse way there. Yeah, it, it kind of flips the current model on its head. A, a, a little bit, yeah. It's it's, it's a, yeah. one way of approaching it, which is really so, cool. So we should go through our thought process. So we're thinking that that would occur through these different social news sites, like. Reddit yeah. and Dig and Facebook because we saw them as trying to filter out the information using this All the, um, point system. the point system the upvoting downvoting because you see it everywhere yeah. like I mean any of the sites you visit and any, any of the places around you must be starting to see yeah. like these upvotes or you might be seeing like likes or some random points like Twitter brilliant example retweets the amount of retweets yeah. a story has is how much it's propagated through the Twitter sphere yeah, yeah. and it's essentially it's using the hive mind to filter information yeah and I mean that's we need to make a platform that that happens naturally, but more efficiently, and yeah. that's the attention economy. So then, what was the, the next thing? I think linking it to services. Yeah. Was the, was the next thing? Oh, well, we came up with the yeah the, the cool okay. idea of like yeah services going through, and then we had a look at this um pretty cool site called um ingenesist.com. Only just came yeah. across like literally about an hour ago. You have to read a bit more. Oh, like tons. Uh, this idea has been around for a long time. Very very. We've long only time. recently, like in the last year or two, come across it. I guess. Yeah, we'll come across deeper yeah. into it, yeah. Actually started going, wow, this is actually going to be the next big yeah. thing. Well, one of the next big things, yeah. And uh, yeah, well, this is where it came up to. It was just really cool that just in the past while I started thinking that, well, a lot of all of the outsourcing websites like Elance and rent a and the, I don't know, this is like Odesk. Of, Odesk, yeah. Some big ones, yeah. And um, yeah, they're all together. They're about like, you know, connecting people and doing like little tasks and stuff that it might actually be possible to start up the attention economy by, <laughs> our heads are going back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> it might actually be possible to start up the attention economy by using that type of model rather than doing it through news and rather yeah. doing it through that way, which is awesome. How did I actually consider that or actually like explore yeah. it? Well, we, we were getting into the service market because we're, we're thinking like, oh, you could like for, for, say for Reddit, like Reddit's having an issue with now with their, um, their, 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 their money. Yeah. money. And the attention economy could potentially help save that, in a mm. sense. Yeah, in a possible way, yeah. It's, it's another way you can actually start monetizing different things. Yeah, because then we're thinking, like, you could yeah, somehow yeah. you could somehow base Reddit upvotes on, like, you know, because it kind of gives an indication of your attention. Um, you can start buying and, and, and trading and doing all this stuff. The other thing stuff, we, yeah. we didn't mention, attention, um, it shouldn't really be based on points. You can include that, but it should be based on how much time you actually spend reading it. Like, time, like, seconds. Yeah, you Which can do it through to, seconds. Yeah. On a couple of them. Well, see, I, I, I think seconds will be like an initial way to do it and stuff going through there, but there, there still has to be a better way after a while. Yeah. But I think attention, like, it'd be cool to try a test that we've got this uh, idea of like just a filtering mechanism just based on seconds mm -hmm. and stuff, which must have happened online, but it'd be cool to try it out. Yeah. And so, wait, there, there was a. Then, the, yeah, then you could possibly use some, some of those points to like outsource other services you might need, like the other service might. But this. What you could actually do with this is, um, these guys were, were looking at it from the resume point of view, weren't they? Yeah. So actually all of the skills that you have actually like uh, quantified into a, a numerical analysis, really. Yeah. And then so, yeah, you can go further with that. Yeah. So like at the moment, um, I mean, the entire physical world works on mostly, um, you, you know, put up your resume, um, which has a degree, like you've done a degree and usually degrees are, are built that way for specific jobs. Like jobs come first, demand for jobs come first. Yeah. Or demand for the products. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and no. <laughs> Whatever. And, and you yeah. trade yourself in. And yeah. then the colleges and universities come up with degrees to actually go into those jobs. You so then do the degree. In there. You're then, ha, oh, you're qualified. You can now do this job. Mm. How boring is that? Like that doesn't match your skills. Like we've got. Like, okay. Mm. Guess what my degree is? Business. Economics. Yay. And we're <laughs> like hardcore interested. Like probably more interested in the technology side of things more so than the business side of things. Yeah. Even though we're interested in both. Um, so what would be cool is if I s say I submit my resume to this system, it then quantifies it and works out um, exactly what I'm good at. Who cares about degrees I've got? That, who cares? Yeah. I, I'm well, good that'd at, still yeah. be part of the system, what yeah. you've actually supplied into it, but 
anything you do, like instead of just having that one signaling, me signa signaling mechanism being the degree, yeah. or like your high school certificate or any other of these like other accomplishments, there's so few. Why not be everything you've ever done, your entire online personality, your entire online profile put into this mathematical formula. Like say you'd have to track the yeah. Yeah, because you'd have to track going through, but it starts off just say with the degree or all the different subjects you did. They put in that, oh okay, cool, you ranked this well in it, you did this well, and then you start get given like a nice formula and a nice way reason of what yeah. you could actually do. It's turning people into an algorithm again. Yeah. <laughs> just like but it's it's a good way to actually like say start processing it and doing it further yeah. and further. I mean you want jobs that are tailored to what you're good at and what you've done a lot. Well, that's the, that's the ideal. Yeah, like, <laughs> that, that's the perfect People part. always say, do what you love, but a lot of the times people don't do that because there's no money in what yeah. they love. Well, like imagine they that, can't. going back to the, the musician and the artist again, like if you could say that, mm. put actually in the amount of time you've spent playing like song, playing music and all of that, and the amount of time you've been drawing and writing games, and stuff. Wow. Even games, that, yeah, there's, all that. There's skill in that. There's uh, leadership things in all of the guilds and stuff. Like, God damn, they're ridiculous. The, the stories I've read about it are just crazy. Hmm. But if, if you actually, yeah, had that, like, that's a great... And then you check this site and say, hey, this job is recommended for you. If you played this song or if you created, like, you know, a short piece that would be great with this, you get, yeah. um, say, 200 points. And then you're like, oh, cool, I'll do that. And then you can start yeah. working it out and building more models on top. And it's really cool. So, yeah, let's go through it. You, you submit your, your resume and digitize it, work out exactly what you're good mm -hmm. at. When, in a, when any... Anytime anyone has a particular thing they need, like a question they need answered, a particular service mm -hmm. task, information task they need answered, they submit it to the system, it automatically wraps it out. It could even split it up. Yeah. Like big tasks could be automatically split up. Yeah. It goes to those people, they then get uh, pop, uh, pop off or whatever somehow, and then they do that task, they get points for it. It doesn't have to be any actual dollar amount, no. like it probably would be to begin with. Um, but then you can actually create a new economy on top of that. Well, and the, and the best part with it yeah. that I see with like big projects as you brought it up, that say it's something like really complex, say like you wanted someone to write these articles, all these different blog posts and stuff. This is where you need to like encourage the entrepreneurial spirit and stuff that if you say that, oh, okay, yeah, I could complete it for this much. And you're like, Hey, I know I could get someone else to do it for this bit. And yeah. then you become the manager organizing people like, you know, the how I was talking about like World of Warcraft, like, you know, the, the guild leaders and all of that, that a lot of the time I'm sure they're just getting all the different people to actually work together. You do the same system with this. And then the system and realize, oh, you did really well with that other management project and getting that stuff there. And so what happens is that, yeah, they send out another big project that, hey, instead of just doing this one musical thing, do you think you could compose this whole score? And you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, I think I could because I know these other people who are pretty good at actually contracting it. Instead of having it all just like purely mathematical, they're like, start yeah, the system build itself. Yeah, yeah, the system build itself. And so like, oh, cool, then, yep, you get them to do it that way. And then you just go up at another level and you just organize it further and further until you're getting into massive, massively big projects. Yeah. And of course, it might be as like as hierarchical as like a, a total pyramid like that. Because the best thing about it is it's totally flat. But there'll still be that entrepreneurial cool spirit, dearly. Yeah. And when, once you actually earn these points by doing tasks, I mean, you don't have to ca You could cash them out for real world dollars, I guess. But in turn, you could just like say, if you need a particular service or question answered, you just say, throw it up, give it some points, it directs it out well, to whoever's that, best at it. That's why it does that. Well, it doesn't even have to be that way. Because like, say you just got a hundred points for doing a, a musical score and stuff. Then someone asks you to do like a few more. You say, well, you know, I don't, the hundred points I earned before, I, I think I could actually create a job for say like 40 points and get good enough stuff to actually earn that other hundred point to use arbitrage to actually go through. Okay. Because the points you keep yourself, that's where you get the, the cool... Yeah. Entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> and this system, it creates, it, there's a supply and demand, which means it creates an equilibrium price for yeah. the points. Yeah. Which is what we've been racking our brains over, like, shit, how do you get that that standard between, like, how much is a dig point worth versus a an upvote on Reddit? Yeah, and this is a but great way you can do it. It's essentially the system that works it out. This much, inf this information is this valuable, this information is this valuable. You can utilize all of this stuff, it's brilliant. Yeah. So, great. yeah, that's where we think the economy is going to go next yeah that, that's yes. going to be the big thing that's the, the next economic pattern paradigm and stuff and this awesome site that i've just found that i'm going to be looking over a ton in the next week yeah. like my god they're pretty old apparently yeah, yeah and well they've only they've been updating quite recently like the latest one was in july so it's like hells yeah yeah sweet oh well, we've been going on for a long time yeah we talk very fast too you might have to like slow it down <laughs> <laughs> to do. yeah. oh well like inception go watch inception that's, that's a good, good movie, movie. <laughs> and i'll you know, thoughts are still very scattered on this attention. Oh god, thing. yeah. We were like, just it it changed loud. tonight. It literally just changed. Just then, when we were speaking. Like, oh, for me, anyway. When half an hour ago, sort of thing. Yeah, Sweet. Well. Oh. Well.
Catch you guys next week. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. It's been High 45. Episode 25. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you next week. See ya.